Is this a look? Check one, two. Welcome to my beauty room. Hello and welcome Mecca Beauty Junkies. It is I, Emily, and you are in my house. More specifically, you're in my beauty room and you are gonna get a tour. I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite storage hacks and a few of my favorite products as well. You wanna see what's in here? Stay tuned. I don't really know where to begin. Right, this is an awkward angle, but I'm just gonna show you what's on top of my desk. First of all, what I've got here is a glass mirror tray that I got from my beloved Kmart. In this are some of my favorite products for finishing off a look. I've got my favorite player dry shampoo, Luna Bronze Tanning Moisturizer, moisturizers from Frank Body, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, Banana Bake from Mecca Max, colognes and perfumes as well. One of my favorite brands that Mecca Max have launched recently when it comes to perfumes is 100 Bond. This one's amazing. It smells just like wood and fire and most repurchased product of all time. So this is the Virgin Marula Oil from Drunk Elephant. And I have some in my bathroom, I have some in my bedroom, I have some here on my makeup vanity because it's always, always a good idea. Similar to that is this NARS Beautiful Body Oil and I feel just like a Kardashian when I'm wearing it. The Mecca Cosmetica Lip Delicious Night Treatment and the Tatcha The Pearl Eye Cream. So this is a new addition to my vanity. It is beautiful. It's like an eye cream with a tad little bit of coverage. And then I've got some of my brushes as well. My beloved Stiller Beauty Sponge here. A storage hack that I've got for you guys that I love when it comes to storing your makeup brushes is um, using just repurposing beautiful glasses or like old glass candles. Some of my fave eye brushes are from MAC and Mecca Cosmetica. And I cannot live without my Smashbox blending eye brush. This baby is using like every single makeup look I do for myself or somebody else, guarantee. Face and complexion brushes, oh, absolutely love. This This is the angled sculpting brush from Mech Cosmetica. The last one at the back here, this would have to be one of my most used fluffy brushes, uh, as you can tell because the writing has completely worn off. This is the um, Too Faced Mr. Right brush. And then one of my other favorite brushes, particularly for setting under the eye, is this MAC what is the 128S? Because they're synthetic now. Oh, I nearly forgot. The Mecca Cosmetica All Over Finishing Brush. This one here has vastly become one of my favorites for bronzer in particular. So you can probably see this mirror behind me. This is one of my best investments that I've ever made. Lighting is so important when it comes to doing your makeup. So this is Hollywood mirrors. Zoom you in to this little treasure corner over here. So I've got some aesthetically pleasing plants and inspirational posters that I got from Kmart, which are awesome. But I've also got some of my favorite and most reached for product. All of my MAC lipsticks up the top, some of the NARS Velvet Lip Glides down the bottom. Then I've also got the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Colors. And what they're sitting in is plastic lipstick holders. They were really really cheap from eBay. On this side I've got some glimmer and glitter and glows from Stila. It's just kind of like stepped up. Makes it really easy for me to kind of see at a glance what product is in here. These are all my lip liners. Most of my lip liners come from MAC, NARS, a few from Bare Minerals because I've got some really juicy nude shades and Hourglass as well. Right at the back here, some of my most reached for makeup palettes. This again is from Kmart. I've got the Too Faced Love Flush Blush Palette. Infamous Naked Heat Palette from Urban Decay. A palette that I've just purchased actually, because uh, it's not long been released, the Beach Eyeshadow Palette from Urban Decay. Urban Decay Electric Palette. How are we going? You guys keeping up? So now we're gonna switch it up and have a look at the shelving unit behind my makeup desk. Mostly the goodies on here aren't um, super duper practical because I like everything in front of me on my desk. Right up the top here, just like the one I showed you from the top of my desk, this is a Kmart stationery holder. And I've put some of my fave palettes in here as well. Portable little ring light. The chocolate semi-sweet and the chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. The Urban Decay Naked series. Peach palette, chocolate bonbons. Some of my like first ever purchased palettes are these. Eyes are the window from Stiller. Can I stop breaking things? That'd be great. I actually broke it. What? 
Let's go to the second shelf. Here I've got quite a few little sprays. Photo Finish Primer Water, Too Faced Hangover Spray, Glam Glow, MAC, Myra Overdescu, heaps of facial and setting sprays just here. This is my first set of drawers. These babies are just from Ikea. This one I got and put together myself because I'm an independent woman. Don't need no man to put together my furniture. This one here is usually to my left when I do my makeup and I've dedicated it to the details. Um, lips and eyes and in the one over there basically got everything for my face. So I've just picked up these white plastic containers that come in sets of like half a dozen. They're only a couple of dollars just from Kmart. In the top drawers I have lipsticks and I've categorized them into colors. So first I've got orange tones, nudes, pinks and then at the back I've got reds, purples and plums. I've got some Power Matte Liquid Lipsticks from NARS, which is a product I usually reach for when wearing a liquid lip. And then the same with the Viterry Liquid Lipsticks. These ones have hyaluronic acid in them, which make, makes them really hydrating and comfortable on the lip. Ooh, and I really love it. Ciate Liquid Velvets as well. So the next drawer is devoted to lip balms and glosses, my most reached for lip products. And again, I've categorized them into colors. I've got a huge range of Mecca Lip Delicious, Carez Lip Butters, and the By Terry Balm de Rose. And then this one is one of my faves from Urban Decay. I reach for it all the time. It's called Naked. It's got like this minty element to it, which makes it like super fresh and really invigorating on. Third drawer. In the third drawer here, you're gonna find uh, some products for the eyes. Over here, we've got some eye crayons. Um, some of my favorites are from By Terry, the Ombre Black Stars. They're really beautiful, including Oh, this one is so nice. Well, this is Bronze Moon. She's beautiful. If I am gonna reach for an eyeliner, um, particularly to really smoke up a look, it's gonna be the Stiller Smudge Stick in Damsel. I've got a heap of like brow crayons because that's my preferred method these days. Got a bunch of brow mascaras. In this container here, I've got mascara. So I've got heaps, but definitely ones that I'm reaching for all the time lately are the Smashbox Super Fan or the Stiller Huge Lash. In this back one, I've got eye primers, under eye primers, sharpeners, and eyelash glue. This is the fourth drawer. Um, what you're gonna see over here is some single shadows. Um, I've got some old school ones from Stilla, some current faves from Urban Decay. I've got some MAC pigments, some glitters from In Your Dreams. In this other one over here, I've got some cream eyeshadows. I've got a few old school Stillers, some Mecca Macs. And then in this one here, I've got some false lashes. We're nearly there, guys. Hold tight. This one here is full of all the products that I'm gonna use to complete my face. Naturally, I'm gonna start with what I'm gonna use first. So in this top drawer is primers. One of my most reached for is the Mecca Max Illuminati Primer, along with Strobe Cream and Peach Light from MAC. In the middle, I've got hydrating primers, so I've definitely well used my, you can see. <laughs> oh, she's pretty much empty. Um, Too Faced Hangover Primer, as well as the One Step Correct. I've got like four empty ones sitting in there. So not a big deal, just a total obsessed fan with still a One Step Correct because I've just gone through so many. Down the back here, I've got some more kind of like mattifying and blurring ones. Smashbox, Photo Finish, Veil from Hourglass. This is a cult product for a reason. Draw number two. Surprisingly, I'm pretty pale but I use fake tan pretty regularly. So uh, a lot of foundations I've got, I've got in both my tan shade and my natural shade as well. So this second drawer is dedicated to all of my natural colored foundations and tinted moisturizers and powders. I don't really use pressed powders that often, but I do definitely have some um, really beautiful ones. This one's from Too Faced, which I really like. The Smashbox, this one is just flawless on the skin, so lovely. I've got like a um, little container dedicated to tinted moisturizers. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, this is just, everybody needs this. If you like a sheer coverage, it's very good for your skin. Who can forget NARS tinted moisturizer? Moving down the front here to foundation. So I've kind of separated them into full and kind of medium hourglass vanish sticks. This was my first one. Gross. <laughs> I've like even dug into it to get foundation out. So thankfully I had some common sense. I went and bought a new one. Urban Decay All Nighter, Beyond Perfecting from Clinique, and the All Day Weightless Luminous from NARS. So those are probably my most 
full coverage foundations. I've got some that have less of a coverage. A serum foundation from Bobbi Brown, the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, which I know is like a skin tint, but it's got a lot of coverage. And my baby. The NARS Sheer Glow, I've got quite a few bottles. Obviously, I've got a problem with letting go of empty bottles. And then right down the back here, I've got some concealers. And my favorite, favorite, favorite concealer is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. This is just gorgeous. Foundation drawer number two, which these days is probably my most used drawer. It's a pretty similar setup to the foundation drawer that we just went through, but this is obviously going to have all of my deeper shades that are going to match my fake tan. Do you reckon I have a fave? Many, many stiller stay all days here. So this is the new packaging for stiller stay all day. It's beautiful, still has a concealer in the top and a lot more hygienic with the push down. Draw number four. This is where we dive deep into bronzer and blush territory. Got a mixture of creams, liquids, and powders. I've got some contour kits here, Smashbox, Stilla, uh, and then the contouring blushes from NARS that came out a couple of years ago. I've got like pretty much every single convertible color from Stilla. Uh, I've got some liquid NARS Super Orgasm with Laguna from NARS. This is the Hourglass Flash Stick in Flash Bronze. Really, really beautiful. Moving on to powders. So these are all my bronzers. One of the ones I'm using the most lately and wearing right now is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. I've gone through like seven NARS Lagunas. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. Some Too Faced Love Flush New Gen Nudes from Bare Minerals. The Hourglass uh, Trio that came out quite some time ago. Again, I've got a couple more Hourglass blushes. These easily my favorite blushes because they've got a little bit of glow in them. Draw number five, the drawer you've all been waiting for, the highlight drawer. Powders, uh, mostly my setting powders will have a glow in them. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So um, I've got a couple of translucent crystal from NARS. My favorite under eye setting powder is the Mecca Max Banana Bake Powder Highlights. Here you go. Too Faced Diamond Highlight, several MAC highlights here, mineralized skin finishes. I've got a couple of my beloved Mecca Enlightened and then a whole heap of Bobbi Brown like shimmer bricks. I've got some creams and some liquids. In the liquids we've got Hot Sand from NARS. This is beautiful if you want to put it in with your foundation. If you're too scared to kind of go too, too glowy but you want to glow with your foundation coverage, Pop it right in as you're applying your foundation. Mecca Max face jellies. Then I've got some Ciate Dewy Sticks, a NARS Multiple, and of course my Hourglass Vanish Flash Sticks. You guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in, Mecca Beauty Junkies. I really wanted to just give you an in-depth look into the drawers and all my products and how I like to store them. Like, subscribe, Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you want to see next. See ya!